Hey everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of JC Live. I'm your host, Dwayne Dunleavy, and I'm coming to you from JC headquarters. We got a fantastic show lined up for you today, so let's get started with entertainment news. In today's entertainment news, we're covering the latest buzz from Hollywood, from blockbuster movie releases to juicy celebrity gossip. Emerging pop sensation Chapel Roan is making waves in the music industry. After her recent split with management, Roan has taken creative control, teasing a new project that promises to showcase her unique artistry. Fans are eagerly anticipating her performance at the upcoming Primavera Sound Festival in Barcelona, Spain, where she'll share the stage with artists like Sabrina Carpenter and Charlie XCX. Can't wait to find out more about that. Next story is all about Sabrina Carpenter, and she is debunking the Gem and the Holograms rumors. They have been circulating about Sabrina starring in a new live-action Gem and the Holograms movie set for release in February 2025. However, these claims have been debunked, unfortunately, with sources confirming that the viral poster that everybody has seen is fan-made, and no such project is currently in development. It's a shame. I loved that show in the 80s. All right, on to celebrity birthdays. It's time to celebrate some famous birthdays. Today, we've got a list of celebrities blowing out their candles, including on November 21st, Goldie Hawn. The acclaimed actress and producer turns 79. On November 22nd, ScarJo, also known as Scarlett Johansson, renowned for her roles in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, celebrates her 40th birthday. And on November 23rd, Miley Cyrus, singer and actress, will turn 32. Happy birthday to all the stars celebrating their birthday this month. And now on to What Can I Do Now? Are you looking for something you can do right now to boost your entertainment career? Well, the first thing I can recommend is networking smartly. That's right. Attend industry events, both virtual and in person, and build genuine relationships with like-minded professionals. That's going to get you a lot further. Also, staying active online and maintaining a strong social media presence can showcase your talents and help you to stay relevant in the ever-evolving entertainment landscape. And now, on to crazy observations. Now it's time for Crazy Observations. This is where I share insights from my experience as a coach at John Casablancas. This episode's Crazy Observation is all about artificial intelligence. That's right. AI is revolutionizing the audition process because actors can now utilize AI tools to generate personalized scripts for, for audition material. So it offers a unique and tailored way to make content that showcases your strengths. This innovation not only saves time, but it also provides fresh material that can set actors apart in competitive auditions. And now on to our social segment. In our social segments, we highlight the best of social media and we really want you to engage and let us know what you think. So be sure to follow us online at all of our social media outlets and let us know what you're thinking in the comments. First up, we have at Ziggy underscore Mercy, who shows us how to take great at-home digitals to use for your submissions to modeling castings. Let's take a look. How to take good modeling digitals. One, no makeup. Make sure you look natural. 2. Wear form-fitted black clothes. 3. Find a white wall. 4. Have good natural light. 5. Do simple poses. 6. Take these photos of you. Full body. Waist up. Side profile. Close up. Great. Smiling. And now next, at by Brandon Andre shares insights on building a standout modeling portfolio, emphasizing the importance of simplicity 
And this is the number one mistake models make when building their portfolio. They don't keep it simple. When you're testing and building up your modeling portfolio, you want to avoid gimmicky modeling images. Images that are of you with heavy makeup, crazy hair, and crazy fashion outfits. While they may be fun and they may make you feel like a model, in the beginning of your career as you're developing, they don't make any sense. One, because the people you are likely going to be doing it with are testing for free and so it's largely experimental and they just don't know how to sell you good. Or two, because those images are virtually unusable and your agent is unlikely to use them in your book. Your objective as a model when building your portfolio is to sell your look, your body, and how you move and wear clothing, which means that your images should prove that you're a professional at doing that. And that means keeping the makeup natural looking, keeping the hair natural looking, and keeping the clothing timeless and simple. When I do the model images review on my TikTok live series, far too often I see models attempting to do shoots from a misinformed idea of what modeling should look like and they end up looking cringe, awkward, and just inexperienced. Before you do any shoot, you need to make sure that your photographer works in fashion and works with models and then you need to make sure that you know what kind of shoot you need to be doing. And it starts with first figuring out which direction of modeling is fit for you. Are you a fashion model or a commercial model? Do you even know the difference of those? Did you know that each of those model paths build a portfolio that is entirely different from one another. And this is why I created my model masterclass to teach you what your route as a model is and how to build a portfolio according to what is best fit for you. In my class, you'll see me actually build modeling portfolios with different types of models so you can see how to do it correctly. I also provide mood boards for both fashion and commercial so you can see how your images should look. You can see how the fashion is supposed to look as you're building your portfolio. And most importantly, in my class, I scan through with you different modeling portfolios from models that are signed with big agencies and commercial agencies so that you can learn how to build a real portfolio just like all of the working models are doing. If you want to become a working model, it starts with building a strong portfolio. This is why you need to take my model masterclass so you can learn how to accelerate your career as a model and build the right portfolio. Or you can just hire me to build your portfolio as well. The links to do both as well as my podcast show where I interview models and talk about their experiences in the business are available by clicking the link in my bio. Be sure to follow me for more modeling business tips and DM me your images on Instagram if you'd like me to review them. Well, that's our show for today. And we are so happy that you tuned in and we're thankful for you being a part of our community. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, stay positive, stay entertained and keep spreading those good vibes. I'm Dwayne Dunleavy signing off.